Hey, how you doing? Mike Cameron here. Still feeling sick as a dog. And it's okay. Um, I woke up, you know, with uh, all kinds of congestion, but I'm feeling as good as I can, right? It's either a good day or a great day. So, copy it emptor, right? No, 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 that's not right. Copy it emptor is let the buyer beware. See, real estate on the mind. Carpe diem sees the day. So, I am feeling good because um, I really wanted to record this video today. I woke up with uh, some motivation on a particular subject, something that just really lights me on fire. And, uh, <coughs> Oh, fungal. All right, something that really lights me on fire and I wanted to speak to you guys about and something to think about today on your way to work, whatever it is, you're probably in sales if you're watching this. And uh, even if you don't think you're in sales, you're probably in sales. Just saying, life is sales, right? If you're in a relationship, you're in sales, okay? It is the power of persuasion. So you have to convince your significant other on what you know, movie to watch that night, where to go out for food, and that's always a uh, hot topic for me and the missus. But anyhow, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is if you're thinking about getting into real estate, you gotta understand something right now. Let's be clear. Real estate is the people business, okay? And uh, there's no knock on any of uh, or one of my students in particular, but I have students every so often that are very timid and man, my heart goes out to them because I've been there, I've done that. I know what it takes to get my real estate and various licenses and at the age when I decided to pursue real estate as a career, I didn't see myself as that perfect uh, that person. I, I didn't. I was kind of a character, right? I joked around, but you know, to be in a professional environment and to convey a message with compassion and a certain sense of delivery and tonality, I I didn't feel confident in that position. So I decided in my head that I was gonna make myself that person, whatever it took. So I put myself in what I knew at the time as the most high pace, high pressure sales environment I can imagine, and I thrived in it. And not at first, I struggled in the beginning. And I've noticed something uh, very similar in characteristics between people who find success in sales that they might not start off or they're, they're not, they don't see themselves as that perfect person, that, that confident individual that can convey this message and convince you why you need this. Why is it good for you and your family? What are the benefits? Why us versus somebody else? And why buy it right now? So <laughs> I developed that over time and I had to force myself to be that person. And, and the message really that I wanted to deliver here and the message that I really wanted you to get out of this video today is you gotta be that person, okay? Force yourself to be that person. Put yourself in awkward uh, environments where you have to interact with people and small talk. Doesn't small talk suck? Does it, isn't it the worst? catching up with an old friend or catching up with an old colleague, coworker, even sometimes relatives. It's awkward, right? I get it. But you got to force yourself to be that person because what are you doing in sales? Okay? You have to build rapport in an instant with your families that are you're, you're working with. They got to know you're genuine. And actually the people that don't see themselves as being confident in those environments end up being the most genuine and real people that you can relate to. But you're too scared to put yourself in that environment because of those hurdles you put in front of yourself. You're holding yourself back. You got unlimited potential, you really do. And I can tell you based on personal experience, you help people with the right intentions and the rest will follow tenfold and will come back to you. Be real, be genuine. People can feel it without you saying a flippin' word. 
Take my word for it. Ask others who are successful in the industry and they will attest to this secret, right? So that's a special sauce alert for you guys and hopefully you got the most out of that and hopefully you don't limit yourself, you put yourself in that environment and if you're serious about moving forward with a career in real estate, come and see us at Cameron Academy of Real Estate, the number one real estate school in Central Florida. Ask around, most of the top real estate professionals in the industry have come to us. I've taught physicians, I've taught pseudo celebrities, I've taught doctors, physicians, right? I've taught people in all trades, you can't even imagine, pilots, people that have very prestigious careers but want to get the knowledge or they might be working in a career where they're very successful but they've never been in the people business, okay? They've been stuck behind a desk or they haven't had to interact with people or at least face to face. Make yourself that person and you'll be better off. With that being said, I'm going to sign off on this little rant that I'm going through. I like my fruits raw, okay? And hopefully you do too. Thanks for tuning in and the support. Like, hopefully you like this. Comment below. I appreciate it, I really do. I like the feedback, I like to talk to you guys. And subscribe, right? And that's how we spread the word to the masses of that positivity we're just flowing with.